Dear Diary, my favorite Halloween YouTuber is that Nate guy on YouTube. Dear Wikipedia, my favorite YouTuber is that Nate guy on YouTube. Dear Handbook of the Recently Deceased, my favorite YouTuber is that Nate guy on YouTube. <laughs> I told you to stay away! Okay guys, I stopped by here the other day and they were not open, but today they are open. Today I am in Williston, Vermont at the newly opened Spirit Halloween. I can't take it, let's go in. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, I can feel that cool air immediately when I step in here and it feels so good. This place is absolutely enormous, guys. Look, they hardly have any animatronics set up but I know there's been shipping issues and just issues with getting the merchandise in the store. So we're gonna see it for what it is right now. It still looks awesome. Here is the Halloween factory. I do see that we have one set up here and ready to roll and it is the Hauntress. Come on, are you coming? Here we go. She's pretty loud. That's the loudest one I've encountered this year so far. All right, let's go on through the chains of death. Chains of death, will they kill me? Will they? I think I'm gonna survive this time. But I need to go back through because I really wanna pay attention to this floor this time. I guess, okay, yeah. I didn't notice this before. If you step on it, it actually moves. Like the lava moves. Some people have been calling this blood. And I don't know, maybe it is supposed to be, but it looks orange to me. So as you walk, the lava, or blood, moves. That is pretty cool. Okay guys, we do have the Nightcrawler set up over here. Let's check him out. Look at his creepy face and his disgusting teeth. I think he needs some Aqua Fresh. Here we go. <laughs> Dang, he's pretty loud too. And he's working correctly, too. Look how he sways all the way down. He is one of the scariest props. Okay, I hear you. You have bad breath, sir. Add to your grocery list scope and aqua fresh. <laughs> we got the Carvomatic going here with the pumpkins to go in this side past Mr. Grimm here. And they come out this side past second Mr. Grimm and they're carved and ready for Hallow's Eve. Look, he's like, if I tip my hat, they won't notice that I'm sleeping on the job. Oh, we got a jumping spider set up. All right, let's get him. Here he comes. Hello, Mr. Spidey. <laughs> okay, guys, over here in the distance, I, yes, I heard Sam. Okay, let's check him out. Hold on, here we go. Hello, Sam. He is so loud, guys. I gotta back up in order to talk. The props in here are so loud. That is so awesome. So with the stores that I've been to so far, it looks like it's the same thing. They're getting like the older animatronics in, but it's the newer ones that they're having trouble getting in right now. Don't worry, Sam. We love you just as much. Whoa, I just noticed a Michael Myers shirt I've never seen before. Look at that. That is pretty cool, only it's like pre-fall. <laughs> That's what it looks like outside right now. Everything's still green. But in about a month, it's all going to be orange and yellow fire. Oh, sweet. They do have one of the new ones in here, guys. Look, it's W Wraith. And it's funny because this one is actually, the word is Wraith, spelled just like that. And Wraith means ghost. So they didn't have to get too creative with that name. But this is a pretty awesome uh, animatronic right here. He just goes back and forth, but he's just like a regular ghost. And I thought it would be cool if he took a pair of glasses and stuck it on his face, he would look like Michael Myers. Okay, before we go searching for any other animatronics that are available on the floor in the box, I hear some over here. Yep, here we go. And it looks like it's pretty much the same deal as the last place we were at, like in New York. Oh my gosh, listen to how loud he is, the Harvester of Souls. And I keep wanting to call him the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> I know that's not right, but the Harvester of Souls. No stores that I've been in this season yet 
have had any uh, any fog going with him. Well, maybe the first one, maybe the one in New Jersey. But let's Just see. As all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever. Yeah, no fog on this one, guys. Pretty creepy looking though anyway. And then of course we've got Wacky Mole over here. Oh, oh please, come any closer. <laughs> <laughs> I love that laugh. Let's get him to do it again. Bad Halloween costumes make me crazy. <laughs> they make me wanna pummel things with my hammer again. I think, I think I'm going crazy again. <laughs> All right, hold on. I want to hear the other laugh he did, where he was like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Step right up, boys and girls. Who's next to get walloped by my hammer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be the first on your block to say, Rocky Bowl, clump me over the head. <laughs> His laugh is so cheesy, guys. All right, let's move on over here. And, oh wait, we got a jumping spider. We can't ignore him. Hello, Mr. Spider. I love you. Okay, jump at us. There we go. God, he was fast, man. Man, all these props in here are so loud today, guys. Usually you can just barely hear them, but these are so loud in here. Okay, this is where Mr. Dark would be if he were here. And so far I've been putting the stickers in these boxes right here. But I think I'm just gonna set a couple around in places, like there. And I think we're gonna give a couple to Mr. Wacky Mole. Just as all the others. Maybe we will put a couple in the box, just for the heck of it. Okay, it looks like that's all the animatronics they actually have set up and running at the moment. So let's go look around and see what they have available for sale on the floor. Okay, we got some jumping spiders over here. It looks like these three are all the black jumping spiders. Then I already charged this one, Wraith, which I am so tempted to buy. I'm always tempted to buy everything I see. Wow, and this is the second one I've been to where they had six sitting scarecrows available. I love sitting scarecrow. All right, guys, yeah, that is it for the animatronics that they actually even have for sale in the store right now. I just overheard the guy talking. He said that they're on their way, but they're just not here yet. But we're going to check out a couple of other things while we're here anyway. And I noticed these awesome scorched pumpkin masks as I was walking by. This is really cool. This is like that harder plastic. Wait a minute. Pull tabbed? Oh, I'm not going to pull the tab, but... Apparently this lights up somewhere. Probably the light, the eyes above. Hmm. I don't know. What in the world? What does this do? Um. I don't know. <laughs> maybe the whole mask just lights up. Like maybe there's a layer underneath there that ma makes it light up. And this one too. This is what I don't like about these masks though. They like split. And you can feel right already inside here where the plastic is splitting on that one unfortunately and that just scratches your face oh my gosh look they have the creepy baby walking stick this thing just totally creeps me out i showed that in the last video from new york that thing is hilarious what in the world is this prism mask thing prism skull mask right there prism crow and a prism bull. That is weird. That almost looks like Chicago Bulls. Good time clown mask. This is a really cool one. I like the nun for you. That's hilarious. Oh, cool. And they have the Halloween Kills mask as well. It's kind of strange that they just have it mixed in here among all the other regular masks in the back of the store. But that is an awesome mask right there. And I don't know why, but I love these metallic masks right here. This one is so cool. The pumpkin. And then we got the sinister ghost mask right here. Here's a black sinister ghost mask. And then a silver one. Metallic werewolf. This kind of reminds me of uh, Donnie Darko. All right, let's look at a couple of these things over here. Look at this. A terror clown. It's like one of those sidesteppers. Yes. 
No, he's not moving. <laughs> he's supposed to be like Pennywise with the balloon. And he looks totally awesome and he sounds totally awesome, but he's not moving at all. I bet he's supposed to like, you know, like one of those side steppers where they go back and forth. Scarecrow door knocker. Oh, he's not working. We got the Slimer pathway markers. I love him. Look how he lights up. I love that green color. Oh, look at this. Lil Zappy. Oh, crap. Come on. <laughs> what in the world is this? A filthy bathroom cling. You put these on the wall in your bathroom. <laughs> look, it's a light switch with a finger broken off, cockroaches, and dirty toilet paper. Or you could just go to the gas station bathroom. They got a couple of hanging Sams here. Oops, he lost his sucker. Uh-oh, what is he holding? What in the world? Okay, very strange. Hanging phantom ghost. Come on, one of them work, come on. Okay, here we go. I can barely even hear him because somebody's got the harvester of souls going back there and he's so loud. We got some more hangers here. The shocked skull ghost. He is not working right now, but he flickers like lightning. We got this creepy guy. Look at that nasty hair. <laughs> this one. Here's this guy here. Let's see if he's working. Nope. Creepy though. And then hello, Mrs. Uh, transparent face. Oh my gosh, she's literally called translucent girl. I was just kidding. <laughs> but the face is purposely transparent. This is a funny costume I just noticed this year. The flaming Hot Crunchy Cheetos bag. You just put it on and you're a bag of Cheetos. And these are two of my favorites. The inflatable Spongebob costume and the inflatable Patrick. Oh my gosh, look, they have Barnacle Boy. <laughs> that is hilarious. A crusty crab hat. Okay, let's look at the shirts quick before I go here. I don't know, I think I've seen this one before, this ghost face that glows in the dark. I love that shirt. You guys know that I love ghost face. I think I've seen all the rest of these. These are hilarious. I love this uh, style right here. I can't think of what the guy's name is right offhand that draws those. There's the H for Halloween. And then here's a Chucky Good Guy card. That's a pretty cool one too. And here they got one of the really cool Pennywise masks. I think this is my favorite Pennywise mask. Look, they got the socks. Look, they got Pennywise teeth. Holy crap. <laughs> Pennywise makeup kit, socks. Here's the costume, but that is for the other style of mask, like that one right there, the original. And then here is the, uh, the newer one. Okay, guys, we got a couple other things over here I want to look at quick before we leave. One of those is the flaming pumpkin. I love this. It's not real flames. It's like fabric that blows up and it, and it lights up and looks like a flaming pumpkin. And then, of course, there's the Sam greeter with his bowl of popcorn. Here's the Pennywise string lights. Let's see if they work. No, they're not. Nothing is turning on in here today. There we go. We got the lollipop string lights. Those turned on. Okay, that's cool. Oh, and we missed the brown brown jumping spiders. And they've got a couple of black and red ones, too. How cool. Okay, I'm not into the Ouija board stuff, but this looks pretty cool. This book here, it's soft. It feels like leather, and you can write stuff in it, like, Dear Diary, my favorite Halloween YouTuber is that Nate guy on YouTube. Dear Wikipedia, my favorite YouTuber is that Nate Guy on YouTube. Dear Handbook of the Recently Deceased, my favorite YouTuber is that Nate Guy on YouTube. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta get out of here. I've been in here messing around for way too long. Back through the chains of death. I will see you guys in the next video. I told you to stay away.